In this video, we're going to have a look at multiplying polynomials. So it's effectively expanding brackets, OK? Um, just dealing with uh, ones that we wouldn't necessarily be used to. So for example, x squared plus 1 times x cubed minus 3. Um, now, what you need to make sure of is that when you are expanding brackets, you multiply everything that is appearing in the left-hand bracket by everything that is appearing in the right-hand bracket. So x squared must multiply with both the x cubed and the minus 3. The 1 must multiply with the x cubed and minus 3 as well. So you can uh, set this up in a table, if you like, in a grid. So x squared and plus 1 multiplied by x cubed and minus 3. OK, like we would have dealt with thirds. So x squared times x cubed is x to the 5, because remember the indices add together. x squared times minus 3 is minus 3x three squared. x cubed times 1 is x cubed. And minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. So if we go from the highest power down to the lowest, this will be x to the 5 uh, plus x cubed minus 3x squared minus 3. And that is what you get when you expand those brackets. OK, let's have a look at the second one. We've got x minus 5 and x to the 4 minus 2x cubed and plus 1. So we've got x times x to the 4 is x to the 5. x times minus 2x cubed is minus 2x to the 4. And 1 times x is x. x to the 4 times minus 5, so minus 5x to the 4. Minus 5 times minus 2x cubed is plus 10x cubed. And minus 5 times 1 is minus 5. So going from the highest order, so x to the 5, then we've got minus 2x to the 4 and minus 5x to the 4. That makes minus 7x to the 4. We've got the 10x cubed. Then we've got the x. And then we've got the minus 5. OK? And that is number 2 expanded. So using a grid can often be quicker and you don't lose any terms as well. Number 3, we've got 2x cubed and minus 3x, we've got 4x to the 7 and 5x squared. 2x cubed times 4x to the 7 is 8x to the 10. 2x cubed times 5x squared is 10x to the 5. 4x to the 7 times minus 3x is minus 12x to the 8. And minus 3x times 5x squared is minus 15x cubed. So we've got the 8x to the 10. We've got the minus 12x to the 8. We've got the 10x to the 5. And the minus 15x cubed. OK? And that's what we get when we expand those two brackets. So for the last one, We've got two cubics multiplied together. So this will be quite a large grid. We've got 3x cubed minus 5x squared, 3x and 1. And we've got x cubed, 2x squared, minus 5x and minus 2. So quite a large grid for this one. So I'm going to write my answers in red so I can keep track of them more easily. So we've got 3x cubed times x cubed, so 3x to the 6. Then we've got 3x cubed times 2x squared, so 6x to the 5. 3x cubed times minus 5x is minus 15x to the 4. And 3x cubed times minus 2 is minus 6x cubed. We've got minus 5x squared times x cubed, so minus 5x to the 5. We've got minus 5x squared times 2x squared. It makes minus 
x to the 4. Minus 5x squared times minus 5x, so 25x cubed. And then minus 5x squared times minus 2 is 10x squared. 3x times x cubed is 3x to the 4. 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. 3x times minus 5x is minus 15x squared. 3x times minus 2 is minus 6x. And then finally, 1 lot of x cubed. 1 lot of 2x squared. 1 lot of minus 5x. And 1 lot of minus 2. So now we need to collect like terms. So we've got the 3x to the 6. Okay, so that's that one done. We've got 6x to the 5 and minus 5x to the 5. So that will be 1x to the 5. Then we've got this column here, this well, this diagonal. We've got minus 15, minus 10, so minus 25, plus 3, so minus 22. So minus 22x to the 4. We've got, for the next row, for the cubes, we've got minus 6 and plus 6, so they cancel. 25 and 1, so 26x cubed. Then for the squares, we've got 10, minus 15, so minus 5, plus 2 is minus 3. Then we've got minus 6, take away 5x, so minus 11x. And then finally the minus 2 on the end. And that is the expansion of number 4.